The Facility Guidelines Institute manages the process of development of two very important documents. One is the guidelines for design and construction of hospitals and outpatient facilities, and we have a new document being published for the first time in 2014, Guidelines for Design of Residential Health Care and Support Facilities. As part of that process, we develop uh, multiple white papers to help support the guidelines development process and support a lot of research. One of the important initiatives that we're working on are related to acoustics. Noise and sound, which are two different things, uh, noise is unwanted sound, but the guidelines need to focus on acoustics because the number one complaint in healthcare facilities is noise, and that's by patients, families, and staff. The guidelines have been working very hard over the last 10 years to develop new acoustic requirements related to the design and construction of all of the different types of facilities that the guidelines are specifying in, in terms of these types of requirements. We've been very fortunate to have a very robust group of acoustic engineers working with the Facility Guidelines Institute in development of a number of white papers that have resulted in very important improvements to the guidelines. And with the improvements to the guidelines, they were seeing significant changes in the quality of the patient care environment and the environment for staff to work in our healthcare facilities. The problem is we're catching up with the rest of the world. What do I mean by that? Well, the issue of noise, it fell off the table three decades ago. We got caught in uh, the Washington logjam, and there's been a very little enforcement of noise issues in this country. But while we've been not doing anything, other parts of the world have actually been doing a lot. So if you look at the European Union, which has very strong noise policies, you look at Asia, Eurasia, most other places in the world actually have much stronger noise control, noise regulation policies than the United States does now. They have an objective of putting some numbers on these uh, outcomes that we're trying to achieve. And they deal with it just like we deal with any other problem. We, we have to be talking about the finishes of a building, surface finishes, which tend to affect the sound actually heard by a receptor in the building, whether it's a patient or uh, your caregiver or whoever. And these are developed in a way that hopefully they'll stimulate the designer to be able to provide solutions. FGI establishes a level playing field, that is to say it's a level playing field on which architects and designers and uh, healthcare administrators play by a better set of rules and when they play by a better set of rules you get a better game, basically you get better outcomes.